It's Jay from Sparkle with your fourth tutorial video. Now that we've created a couple of scenes and added sound, we're going to go back and make some edits to what we've already created and fine tune our scribe. To customize your scribe even more, you can change the background and the default scribe hand. Here in the background settings, we could adjust the color and texture to turn our canvas into a blackboard, a corkboard, or a parchment, for example. But for this scribe, let's keep the whiteboard effect. By clicking on this default scribe hand button, you can open the library of hands and pens and choose the one for your scribe. This will be overwritten by any hands that you choose for individual elements. Every element of text or image that you have added to your canvas appears down here in the timeline. It's really easy to change the order of the elements that are animated in your scribe. Simply drag and drop them in your timeline. So, at the moment the text is arrayed right at the end of scene 2. But, if I want this to happen earlier in the video, I can just move the blank out element to a point where I want it to be animated. From the timeline, you can also edit some other key settings. To get these options, click on the element you want to edit and open the quick menu. There are lots of tools here, but we'll just look at a few of them for now. The timeline quick menu is great for adjusting timings. For each element, you can open this menu to change the animate, pause, and transition times. So, animate means how long the element is being drawn for, Pause means how long the video will stop on this element before moving on to the next one. And transition means how long the camera takes to move to its new position for the next element. This is only a short line of text, so let's reduce its animation time to one second. So far, we've got everything on our canvas being drawn in the video. But there are lots of different animation techniques for you to use. The move in animation method can create some great effects. Let's use it for the books in our classroom scene. So, we'll just click on the element we want to move in and open the element properties. We can choose move in from this animation drop down menu. When you make a move in, you can adjust the angle that the image will appear from, the curve of its path, and the pace of its movement. You can also choose a different hand to suit your move in. Simply go over to the Drawing Hand tab and choose the one you want. So, we are setting this hand just for this element alone. Hit the tick to confirm your changes. Another great animation effect is Fade In. You can use this to make an element gradually appear on the canvas without any hand at all. This would be perfect for our imported screenshot in Scene 1. So, we'll find that element and open up Properties and this time we will choose Fade In from a drop down. Let's see how that plays. There are plenty more animation tricks and techniques for you to try out. Just look up Move In, Fade In and Morph on our Instant Answers help page. You can customize the colors of lots of our images too. I'll show you how. Choose the image you want to edit and open the Element Properties. Because this one's a person, here we can change the skin color hair colour and clothing just by picking the colours from the palette. So you can make it look like someone specific or someone you know. When you're browsing our image library, look out for our colour customizable images with this symbol. There are lots of cool ways you can edit our images. To find out how, just head over to our instant answers and search for color effects or change the color. So now let's preview our scribe and see how all those changes we've made look in action. We can see the hand that we chose, the imported help screen fades in, then we pan down to our second screen. where the text is erased immediately. We personalize the colors and then the books are moved in by the hand. So, that's how a few tweaks and changes 
can really make a difference and bring your scribe to life. Tutorial 5 will be all about publishing your scribe. We will create a video file from our project and share it on social media. Bye for now.